do you have any advice for getting rid of patellar tendinopathy in these trying times? I'm unable to box squat given my circumstance of gyms closed and no equipment. I had knee pain for three weeks before the shutdown, but I didn't want to quit squatting given the progress I was making. I haven't squatted since March 16. Soreness is still there, though somewhat better. Frictional massage, farm chores, staying active, blah, 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 blah. Look, here's the bad news. And we've discussed this several times. But since uh, you repeatedly ask, you're not listening. So here's the situation. Patellar tendonitis is almost always caused by bad form on the squats. It's almost always caused by knees to forward. It's almost always caused by you thinking that the squat is a legs exercise that you're doing quads when you squat. The squat should be a hips movement. You have to learn to squat with your hips first and then understand, become nice and calm and satisfied with the idea that the quads get trained accidentally. But if you keep thinking that you're doing legs when you squat, you're going to probably develop knee tendonitis. So that's what probably what you did is you were squatting wrong. You knees slid forward at the bottom of the movement, one thing or another. Knees too far forward. Trying to front squat instead of squat. That will cause inflamed knees, inflamed patellar tendons. And here's the bad news. Once you get those things inflamed, they tend to stay that way. They tend to stay that way. Now, here's the other bad news. You cannot rest tendonitis away. Once a tendon is inflamed, it stays inflamed until it is trained through. You can rest. You can lay off two more years, and I promise you that the first squat workout you came back to, your knees would hurt. So, no, there's not any way to massage knee tendonitis away. If there was, we'd already have done that, right? It doesn't happen. All right, we can't massage knee tendonitis out. You can do all that cross fiber and friction massage and all this other shit you want to do, but it's not going to help the knee tendonitis. That's not how it works. Knee tendonitis is uh, a permanent condition unless you train through it. So what you're going to have to do is watch some of our videos when you're finally allowed to go back to your training. And uh, you have to learn to bend over, sit back, get your knees as much as possible out of the movement so that the, so that the things can heal. All right, they'll heal up while you're squatting if you're doing the squats right, but they're not going to heal while you're sitting on your ass. That's not how it works. I don't care what your doctor told you. He's wrong. You've heard about being wrong before. Lots of times doctors are wrong when they tell you things that they don't know anything about. All right. And barbell training and knee tendonitis is one of those things they don't know anything about. So anything they told you about that was wrong. 